Beating Karim Abdul-Jabbar's record, LeBron James became the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Let's get to know him a little better with some of the conversations we've had over the years. How did your approach to the game and your style of play evolve between the first final you played in and this one? Uh, I stunk in the first finals. I don't stink anymore. <laughs> uh, it means everything. Um, you know, it means everything to my fans. It means everything for me. It's humbling that uh, my fans have voted me in once again as an NBA starter. And uh, I just try to go out there every night and uh, not let them down. LeBron, is there a person who helped you overcome all the difficulties since you were a kid and who inspired you since you were a little kid? My mother. My mother. Uh, she did everything for me and continues to do so much for me. She gave me the strength and the dignity and everything that I do in everyday life to succeed. And, uh, you know, that's why I try to get a world tour. Can you comment on the fact that you said that she was for you also the dad that you didn't have and the brother you didn't have? Yeah, she was. She was my... She was more than she was my mother, she was my father, she was my brother and sister. I was only child and she covered all bases. And uh, you know, I don't take for granted every moment and every single day that we was together, uh, you know, to this day. He doesn't need introductions. He's one of the best to have ever played this game. He's LeBron James with Viaggio Sport. What's the feeling you get when you see Brownie dunk? And what are you trying to teach him to help him achieve his NBA dream? Um, you know, just to see him continue to grow as a basketball player, um, it's pretty awesome for a father. We don't talk about the NBA in our household. We talk about is he, you know, doing his homework, getting his grades right. Is he respecting um, and being respectful, you know, to his teammates? Is he being respectful to his classmates and how well of a, a model citizen he is in the community? So we don't we don't talk about the NBA in our household. He passed Michael Jordan, becoming the fourth leading scorer in NBA history. Let's chat with LeBron James in Madison Square Garden after the game. You passed Michael Jordan and are now the fourth leading scorer in history. Would the kid from Akron have ever thought he would be able one day to accomplish all this? And how has your journey been so far? Uh, no. Um, no. Um, I had a lot of dreams, a lot of aspirations growing up, but... Never thought I'd be in the same uh, breath um, or even mentioned with uh, any of the greats, especially Mike. And uh, my journey so far has been uh, been a hell of a ride, and uh, and uh, I'm still on it. So, you know, I want to continue that. Zion Williamson is the most talked about prospect since yourself, probably. Do you have any advice for this young player from Duke? Well, yeah, I got a lot of advice, and uh, um, it's not it's not hard to find me if you want to get it. What does it mean to you to be a leader, the leader of this team? What are the teachings you want to leave to every one of your teammates? What do you stand for? What do I stand for? I'd be here for a long time if I told you what I stand for. <laughs> um, just being you know, consistent with my, with my words, um, consistent with how I go out. I practice what I preach. Um, you know, consistent for them, no matter if it's uh, going great or if it's not going so great. Um, but it's two different things, being a leader and what I stand for, too. You know, that's a totally different question. But those guys know I'm there for them, you know, no matter what. So it's good. It's, 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 I'm happy to be in a position. the fans once again to be a part of All-Star Weekend. Um, it's going to be a great weekend and for us to be able to honor Kobe Bryant and his legacy. And, um, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a beautiful time. You know, it's a beautiful time. You know, even, even in loss, um, it's a beautiful time. So just happy to be a part of this weekend. Welcome to the 2018 NBA All-Star in Los Angeles, which marks a brand new format for the NBA. No more Team East versus Team West, but Team LeBron versus Team Stephen. LeBron, 14 All-Stars as a, as a starter, another record. What makes this one special and what do you think of the new format? Well, what makes this one special is that um, 
you know, I'm here once again and I'm representing my family and my friends. You know, I, there's a lot of things that I dreamed about when I was a kid, but uh, being an all-star was something that was far-fetched. Um, you know, so for me to, you know, be here, you know, my 14th straight, uh, 14th straight start, you know, setting a record, uh, being a part of a class with Jerry West and Michael Jordan, it means a lot. 17 seasons in the NBA, 35 years of age. He's leading the league in assists. He is the king, LeBron James. LeBron, what would it mean to you to be able to play in the NBA with or against your son, Bron? And also, can you describe the level of nervousness and excitement you feel during one of his games as opposed to your game? Um, to the first question, um, listen, my son is 15 years old. And, um, you know, he has so much more in his life right now to be thinking about than just basketball. So, you know, I, I hope at some point, you know, maybe when he get a little older, if he's still playing a game that he loves, then cool. But right now, I don't really harp on that. You know, what's most important, which I love about the kid, is he's just a great kid. He loves loves his brother and sister, loves being a, a role model, um, and he loves his teammates in his school. So, um, you know, that's a, that's that's pretty cool. Um, to answer your second question, I do. I get I get very nervous watching my son play in their team. Um, you know, either in the summertime or we're now at Sierra Canyon. Um, you know, just because, you know, just a dad, you know, it's a dad and it's just nervous, you know, organically, so. Can you describe the feeling? Oh, man, I didn't even play, but I feel amazing. I think LeBron James is one of the best to ever play the game. Taking Michael Jordan out of the conversation, LeBron James this era is the best of this era. Hands down, what he did with his team, what he does with every team he goes to is amazing. So it's appropriate that the person who we crowned the king early on goes and does something that no one's ever done. That's what kings do. LeBron James, the best ever. Having LeBron as a teammate, what did you learn from him? And why is he one of the greatest of all time? I mean, he'll do whatever it takes to win. And I mean, he, fortunately for him, he has the attributes to do everything. And he uses that every, every single night. He works at it every single day. So if anybody was more dedicated and worked at their game like LeBron did, I want to meet him. Can, can you describe LeBron as a teammate, as a man, and as an athlete? First of all, he's not a man. He's a damn animal. I don't know if you saw him when he sprinted down the court and caught somebody. That was ridiculous. But, uh, but I'll tell you this. He's the most misunderstood player I've ever seen in my life. I'll, I'll jump in front of a car for that man, and that has nothing to do with basketball. Basketball is basketball. I don't, need to, I don't need to like you to play basketball with you. But I love that man to death because of um, who he is, um, what he believes in, and, and, and how he approaches every single day of his life. And sometimes it's controversial, and sometimes he gets over-criticized, but I think he embraces that. And he says, screw it, I'm going to overcome anyways. What do I want to do? Yeah. How do you want to celebrate? He wants to fucking celebrate. <laughs> That's what he wants to do. Hey, wait, don't waste the beer. Oh. We got more. LeBron James, why is he one of the best in the world? Because he's the one of the best in the world. And you can take it from him. You can hate him, you can love him, but he's the best and you can take it. The Cleveland Cavaliers defend their home court and force a game five, moving the series back west. LeBron, the NBA life means a lot of traveling. Do you have a particular routine on the plane? How do you maximize your rest? Um, well, I mean, it's a quite a long flight going out west, and so. We try to get a little bit of sleep. I try to get a little bit of sleep, and then I get up and get treatment on the plane. And, um, and just get my body um, as much treatment as I can on the plane. And uh, you know, so, you know, get a couple hours of rest. Obviously, it's going to be probably not too, it won't be a long, uh, it won't be easy for me to sleep tonight because I'm so, you know, still going on with the game and things of that nature. And, you know, my body not feeling that's great, but, you know, I'll be, be fine tomorrow. LeBron, you keep building a legacy, the highest number of All-Star points, 15 straight stars, but what is the All-Star to you? What does it mean? Um, to be able to start, um, you know, and you know, be recognized as one of the best players in this league, um, you know, it's a, it means a lot. I mean, these are the fans that, that, that voted me in as All-Star starter. Uh, you guys had a lot to do with it as the, as, as the media, 
Um, and then the coaches being able just to respect what I do out on the floor as competing against them. So, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's always an honor to, to be a part of All-Star Weekend. I grew up watching All-Star games throughout my whole life when I was a kid, and I just wish someday that I would be a part of it. So um, to sit here today, you know, my 15th straight, um, you know, being a part of this, I mean, it's just I, I get a loss for words sometimes because it's, I, I just know where I come from. You know, it's, you know, you got Charlotte 2019, and I come from a small town in, in Akron um, in Ohio. So. Uh, you know, it's a tribute to my family, uh, to my friends, and everybody that supported me over the years, and hopefully I'll continue to make them proud. Having become an inspiration for so many kids, so many people, and being a role model and be able to help them, uh, how does it make you feel? Is this an extra motivation for you? Uh -huh. it is, it's motivation, but it's also humbling, too, to know that so many kids, not only in my hometown, not only in our home state, but all over the United States and all over the world, look for me as inspiration. And, and for me to be a role model to these kids, it means everything. Every day I wake up, it's, it's, it's a, a group of people. It's two groups. Well, it's three groups. It's my family, which is, you know, my wife and my mom and my mother-in-law my father-in-law my kids, you know, and everyone in my intermediate family. And then it's my foundation kids that, that I have to make sure that I continue to set the right example for them. And then it's the group of kids that I don't get to see and talk to every day. You know, that look at me as inspiration, look at me sometimes as a father figure, as a superhero, or just, just like, oh, if, if LeBron can make it out of the situation he was in, maybe we can as well. So um, it's, um, it's, very, um, it's, it's very humbling, it's motivating, and it's also like, it's a breath of fresh air to know that you have the youth, that there are future that look up to you and need your inspiration. So I carry that with me every single day. So, James, uh, Family Foundation, what's our, your objective and how does it make you feel to be able to help the less fortunate? Uh, our objective is to continue to empower uh, families, empower kids. Uh, my foundation has done a great job of being on hands uh, at this, at this All-Star Weekend already here. Uh, we had a great foundation event yesterday uh, that my foundation and my team took care of. We gave away so many great things. Um, you know, and it's always great to be able to put smiles on people's faces. Uh, you know, all over America and all over the world, so they've done a great job. The hardest aspect of being King James, and who's the person who inspired you and helped you the most? Uh, you know, for me, I'm not King James or whatever the case of the labels and tags that's been labeled to me. I'm, I'm a father that when I go through the house, my three kids run and have fun and jump on me and things of that nature. That's the only thing that matters. LeBron said you're his favorite teammate. How do you feel about LeBron as an athlete and as a friend? I mean, he's my favorite teammate. Um, he's a great friend. And, uh, you know, we, we spent a lot of time together. We've had some highs and some lows. Uh, but through it all, you know, we've both been committed to the same thing, which is winning. And, and when you have that type of bond, it transcends basketball. LeBron is the second back-to-back. -back. The NBA is trying to make things a little easier for you guys by having a longer season and no more four games in five days. Do you agree with the strategy? Or what's your suggestion to focus on a better recuperation in between games? Um, well, there's nothing easy about being a professional athlete. You know, between the travel and the games and the months and the hours that you put in, it's nothing, nothing easy. Um, you know, I think uh, for us as a ball club, you know, it's all about how we can, um, you know, get better every day. And no matter who we play, we want to try to improve. How does the outcome of these three games impact your love for competition and your mental approach to a challenge that has become even bigger now? Um, I listen to every competition. I love to compete. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, no matter when, lose or draw, you know, being a part of the you know, the biggest stage in our sport is something that I've always uh, loved and, and, and never, you know, taken for granted. So, you know, my, my love of the game continues to get, you know, you know, bigger and bigger and greater and greater. And then hopefully my game and my health can continue to, uh, to be at a level it is today for, you know, for some years to come. LeBron, what is happiness to you? Is it more related to personal is, life or... What is happiness to me? Just smiling and laughing, man. Smiling and laughing. Oh, my bad. Smiling and laughing is uh, happiness to me, so... The contribution of LeBron James to this team and to the world of basketball, and what does it mean to you to be his teammate? I mean, it's great. He's a hell of a player. He's a, a motivator. Um, he's a great friend. He does everything for his teammates, and uh, when the best player in the world can do that, you, you appreciate it.